Choosing the right mouths can make a huge difference in the way you sound. Sometimes it's as simple as choosing the right hardness to fit the range of the instrument you're playing in. A mouth that's too hard can sound brittle or harsh in the low end of the marimba, and a mouth that's too soft may not articulate clearly in the upper range of the instrument. Other times it may be finding the right weight, length, or type of shaft for the way you are approaching this particular piece of music. Here's a few examples of some different mallets and their qualities. First, let's start with something a little bit softer and hear how that changes the inflection. So this is a soft, heavy pair of mallets. These have a weighted core and they're using a rattan shaft. It's a very big, poofy, warm sound. As you can hear at the very top of the instrument starts getting a little bit thumpy. So these mallets are best for the lower range of the instrument. Let's hear how this expert sounds with these mallets. As you can hear, it's a real poofy, less defined sound that might be right for certain situations and might not be right for others. Let's try something else. This set of mallets has a cord wrapping and a rattan shaft. Using cord as opposed to the regular yarn that most marimba mallets are wrapped with will give it a more dense sound and it'll give a little bit more of the front end attack without necessarily having to have as hard of a core inside the mallet. Let's hear how these ones sound. Pretty clear all the way across the range of the instrument. Okay, and let's try one more thing. Let's try a harder choice. This pair of mallets is a harder marimba mallet. This is wrapped in yarn, but it has a pretty dense hard core and doesn't have the same depth of latex sleeve inside of the mallet wrapping. As you can hear, it's real bright and clear up to the top of the instrument, but maybe down here at the very bottom, it's a little bit harsh and might be a little bright. Let's try this excerpt with these mallets. Much like selecting a solo, this is a personal and individual choice that should be done thoughtfully. Consider the type of the player you are, your strengths and weaknesses, the demands of the piece of the music you're playing, and even the venue you will be performing it in. Since many marimba composers are also musicians, often they will have their own recommendations or preferences as well.